Monday, May 8th to order. We'll stand for the pledge and remain standing for a moment of silence, please. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Thomas, uh, roll call, please. Start. Mr. Delaney? Here. Mr. Darn? Here. Mr. Doyle? Here. Mr. Hotley? Here. Mr. Seitz? Here. Mr. Taylor? Here. Mr. Vento? Here. Mayor Schlegel? Here. We have a quorum. Thank you, sir. I need a motion to approve the treasurer's report for the month of April 2023. I'll make Motion, Mr. Taylor. Second. Second by Mr. Hadley. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Opposed? Motion carries. Also entertain a motion to approve the expenses for the month of April 2023. So moved. Motion, Mr. Dern. Second. Seconded by Mr. Vento. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Also need a motion to approve the minutes of the April 10th, 2023 council meeting. Motion. motion by Mr. Taylor. Second. Second by Mr. Dern. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, recognition of achievement in the community. Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. President. I have uh, several tonight, and um, it gives me great pleasure uh, every time I get to do this because we get to recognize people. The first one is for Representative Markosik. Would you please stand? This is a certificate of appreciation presented to Representative Brandon Markosik. Whereas, Representative Brandon Markosik has served the people of the Pennsylvania 25th Legislative District with honor, integrity, and dedication. And whereas, we often forget the amount of hard work our elected state officials put forth to ensure our democracy. And whereas, Brandon Markosik is a shining example of a dedicated public servant and deserting, deserving of our praise and gratitude. And whereas Representative Markosik worked tirelessly to ensure that Plum Borough received grants and funding in excess of $200,000 to help resolve flooding problems through the Center Beach Project and replace storm sewer pipes in Holiday Park. And whereas Plum Borough received a $250,000 grant to assist in the Plum Creek Shops Economic Development Project and whereas Representative Markosik helped with public safety by obtaining a $200,000 criminal justice grant for the Plum Borough Police Department and more than 15,000 in grants for Plum Emergency Medical Services. And whereas each year elected officials commit their time and talents to improve the quality of life for their communities, few achieve the degree of service and commitment of Representative Markosik. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, as mayor, along with council, police, EMS personnel, and the citizens of the borough of Plum, wish to honor and thank Representative Markosik for his wholehearted devotion to the citizens of the 25th Legislative District and to Plum Borough in particular. In so doing, I, Harry R. Schlegel, mayor, along with council, call upon all citizens to take the time to thank Representative Brandon Markosik and support his legislative endeavors. Signed this 8th day of May, 2023. Brandon, thank you for all you've done for us. And I have another one. Mr. Joyce, even though you deserted us and went to Monroeville, <laughs> this is a proclamation for Timothy Joyce in recognition of your support. Whereas, volunteering of an individual's time and talents for the greater good is an essential part of the American spirit. Whereas, it is evident that Plum Borough's greatest natural resource is its people. Whereas, Tim Joyce is a shining example of this resource. And whereas, 
Tim unselfishly volunteered his time and talents by serving on the Plum Library Board for 12 years and on the zoning, zoning Hearing Board for an additional six years. And whereas Tim exemplifies the volunteer spirit that helped to build Plum Borough and demonstrates that it is still alive and strong today. And whereas each year many citizens commit their time and talents to improve the quality of life for our community, few achieve the degree of service and commitment demonstrated by Tim Joyce. Now therefore be it proclaimed that I, as mayor and the council of Plum Borough, on behalf of the citizens of Plum Borough, wish to honor and thank Tim Joyce for his wholehearted devotion to Plum Borough for sharing his time, energy, and knowledge by serving and improving our community and wish him well in all his future endeavors. In so doing, I, Harry R. Schlegel, Mayor, call upon all citizens to help renew and sustain the American spirit demonstrated by Tim Joyce and emulate his example by committing themselves to address the needs of Plum Borough through voluntary action and service to our community. Signed this eighth day of May, 2023. Tim? <clears throat> This is from the Borough of Plum to thank you for your service all those years. It is really appreciated. Thank you, Mayor. I also want to thank the Mayor, President of Council, all the board members, and I want to tell Council, David probably knows this already, I'm going to tell my wife to start looking for a new house in Plum Borough <laughs> tomorrow morning. Because Plum Borough has become my home. I grew up in the city of Pittsburgh, which I love. I love Plum Borough, and I appreciate that you folks gave me the chance to serve on these boards. Because without uh, Mr. Doyle twisting my arm the first time, I wouldn't have been on those boards. And I appreciate every moment I had. So thank you very much. No problem. I love it. And may I just keep this for a moment to show the council members, a lot of them have not seen this. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you again. And I have one final one. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he gets paid by the word. <laughs> this is a proclamation honoring Plum's Department of Public Works. Whereas, some of Plum Borough's unsung heroes work in our Department of Public Works day in and day out. These men and women make sure that some of our borough's most urgent needs are met. And whereas public work services provided in our community are an integral part of our citizens' everyday lives. And whereas the support of an understanding and informed public is vital to the efficient operation of public work systems and programs that include streets, public buildings, code enforcement, and engineering. And whereas the health, safety, and comfort of this community greatly depends on these facilities and services, and whereas the quality and effectiveness of these facilities and services, as well as their planning, design, construction, and upkeep, is vitally dependent upon the efforts and skills of the Public Works Department, and whereas the efficiency of the qualified and dedicated personnel who staff Plum's Department of Public Works is materially influenced by the people's attitude and understanding the importance, the importance of the work they perform. Now, therefore be it proclaimed that I, as a mayor, do hereby proclaim the week of May 21st through May 27th, 2023 as Public Works Week. And I call upon all citizens and civic organizations to acquaint themselves with the issues involved in providing public works services and to recognize the contribution that all public works employees make every day to our health, safety, comfort, and quality of life. In witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of Plumborough to be affixed this eighth day of May, 2023. And those of you who are not, I'm sure you've seen them out there, 
They're the ones that get up early in the morning and plow our streets so that you can go to work and compare our streets early in the morning to those of Penn Hills, and you know when you went into Penn Hills. They are also the ones that are out there maintaining the ball fields and all of the facilities we have here. They're also the ones out there who are out checking the creeks when it is a, a hard rains come to make sure that we don't have any flooding and there's nothing blocking the, the underpasses under the bridges. So they do a lot. You don't see them that often, but when you do, it would be appreciated if you said thank you. And David, you're going to accept this on behalf of the Public Works Department? I'll accept, I'll accept it and uh, pass it on to them. And uh, we plan on, uh, as this is Public Works Month, uh, working and honoring them this month. And I think uh, uh, later this month, we are having uh, an event, uh, cook out a lunch for them, and, and we will pass it on to them at that time. Thank you. I'll give this to you later. Do you need to see this? Oh, oh, sorry. Mr. Joyce, I have to say, this is an absolutely beautiful uh, uh, crystal trophy, I think, but I have to tell you, I feel a little bit like uh, Michael Corleone with a gold phone in my hand right now. We were passing this <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, that's all I have at this time. Thank you very much, uh, Mayor. Uh, and that is enough, or that's the end of the uh, achievements in the community. On to civic announcements. Any civic announcements this evening? Have anybody hear from any of the people? No? Okay. Uh, president's comments, which I have none tonight, uh, right on to citizens' comments on agenda items. Um, are these are, uh, yeah, these are, these are not agenda. Oh, okay. Um, we'll go along to, uh, right to council actions then. Uh, on behalf of the Personnel Management Committee, uh, Mr. Hadley. Thank you, Mr. President. On behalf of the Personnel and Management Committee, I move to approve the borough's social media policy amendment as presented. We have a motion by Mr. Hadley. Second. Second by Mr. Duren. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. On behalf of the Personnel and Management Committee, I move to change the July Council Work Session meeting to Wednesday, July 5th, 2020. Motion by Mr. Hadley. Second. Second by Mr. Seitz. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. On behalf of the committee, I move to approve William Walter as a full-time public works employee as, rem as recommended by his supervisor. Motion by Mr. Hadley. Second. Seconded by Mr. Vento. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. On behalf of the Personnel Management Committee, I move to approve the part-time recreational staff pay rates as presented. Motion by Mr. Hadley. Seconded. Seconded by Mr. Taylor. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. <laughs> Motion carries. On behalf of the Personnel and Management Committee, I move to promote Jason Mugley to Director of IT Services with the salary schedule as presented. Motion by Mr. Hadley. Second. Second by Mr. Seitz. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Hadley. Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, on behalf of Public Safety, Mr. Dern. Thank you, Mr. Doyle. On behalf of the Public Safety Committee, I move to approve the increase in the Provident Insurance Policy coverage for the volunteer firefighters as requested by the PFCA. Motion by Mr. Darn. Second. Second by Mr. Hadley. All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion carries. Secondly, I move to approve the 2023 to 2025 Memorandum of Understanding between the Plumborough Police Department and the Plumborough School District as presented. Motion by Mr. Dern. Second by Mr. Taylor. All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? The motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Dern. That's all I have, sir. Thank you. Uh, and now on behalf of Parks and Recreation Committee, Mr. Taylor. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, on behalf of the Parks and Recreation Committee, I move to accept the proposal from Verizon Information Services for the purchase and installation of cameras in Renton Park and Larry Mills Park in the amount of $24,056. Motion by Mr. Taylor. Uh, second. Second by Mr. Dern. All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? The motion carries. On behalf of Parks, on behalf of the Parks and Recreation Committee, I move to award the bid for Renton Park Phase 3 to WG Land Company, LLC, in the amount of $303,131,050. We have a motion by Mr. Taylor. Second. Seconded by Mr. Seitz. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. That's it. Uh, on behalf of the Finance Committee, Mr. Seitz. Uh, thank you, Mr. Doyle. <laughs> on behalf of the Finance Committee, I move to adopt Resolution 954-23, authorizing a trustee for Principal Financial Group Money Purchase Plans. Motion by Mr. Seitz. Second. Second by Mr. Dern. All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Seitz. Now on behalf of the Roads, Equipment, and Grounds Committee, Mr. Vento. 
Thank you, Mr. President. On behalf of the Roads, Ground, and Equipment Committee, I, I move to adopt Resolution 953-23, authorizing the borough to submit a Greenways, Trails, and Recreation Grant for recreational improvements to Larry Mills Park. Motion by Mr. Vento. Second. Second by Mr. Hatchie. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Also on behalf of the committee, I move to approve the Plump Community Center's application dated April 19, 2023, for improvements to a borough-owned facility. Motion by Mr. Vento. Seconded, Seconded by Mr. Taylor. Mr. Taylor, sorry about that. Uh, I'd just like to add one thing before we vote. That I just want to let the people know this is to no cost to the borough. This was a, a money the borough, the, the center got on a grant, and uh, the, the community center matched whatever small part we had to. So. No cost to the, but it's a borough and facility, so we had to get the approval. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Bento. Uh, that ends uh, council actions for the month, and God help us, it's time for the mayor's report. <laughs> <laughs> during the month of May, uh, or during the month of April, our uniform patrol officer responded to 748 calls for service in April. And that's a decrease of about 18%. And all of our officers at this point are now equipped with body cameras that are tied into the cars. And as usual, I want to uh, thank uh, thoughtful citizens who keep trying to fatten our officers up. Uh, Pat and Stan Karmaski Pat and Stan Karmaski dropped on an Easter basket full of chocolates and treats. And they've done this several times over the last couple of years. Michael Signiglia, Michael's Painting, again, he's been doing this monthly for several years, provided Oakmont Bakery donuts for the officers. Police and donuts, they kind of go together. And Amy Schrott dropped off gourmet cupcakes in appreciation of the department. And again, not one time did I receive a phone call saying, Mayor, come on down and join us. The other thing is, um, on April 10th, um, Chief Conley received the Patriot Award from the Army National Guard. Now, this is the third time that Chief Conley has received this prestigious distinction. Uh, Officer Luther nominated the chief for this award, um, and that is where they recognize uh, the National Guard recognize uh, the cooperation uh, and how difficult it is for employers to maintain service levels when they have members serving their country and have to go for their, uh, their duty. So congratulations to Chief Conley and Mr. Mayor, or Mr. Mayor, Jesus, Mr. President, that's all I have this time. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Uh, moving along to committee reports, uh, the Intergovernmental Cooperative Committee of the Plum School District. So is there anything scheduled? No. Okay. We just started the junior council member. That's all we want. Okay, yeah. great. Uh, Finance Committee, Mr. Sykes. Thank you, Mr. Doyle. On behalf of the uh, Finance Committee, for the month of April, the borough recognized revenues totaling $660,000 and incurred expenditures in the amount of $1.2 million. <clears throat> to date, we have received $1.32 million from the earned, inco in earned income tax revenues, and we've received $795,000 in sanitation revenues. Overall, we are at 22% of the budget for the year. On the expenditure side, through the month of April, the borough has expended 32% of its budget, or $4.82 million, <coughs> and the borough's semi-annual bond debt payment totaling $1,088,000 is due by June 1st, and those payments will be made this month. Currently, there are no budgetary concerns for the, uh, for the current year. And finally, the first draft of the independent audit report for 2022 will be received this month. The finance director will review and prepare the management discussion and analysis section, and they will present the draft to the finance committee for their review. That's my report for this month. Thank you, Mr. Seitz. Uh, Mr. Vento. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. uh, the borough roads and equipment and grounds DPW to everybody else is uh, for May 8th is as follows. The bids for the Renton Park Phase 3 have been tabulated and awarded this evening. Public Works will be completing the subgrading work and preliminary utility trenching. 
The department will also install a Versamock retaining wall that is included in this phase of the project. Pipe was replaced, inlets repaired, and under drain installed in areas including Las Vegas Drive, Sun Valley Drive, Hialeah Drive, Mardi Gras Drive, Bahama Drive, Blue Ridge Road, and Nassau Drive. If everybody says, why all the work over in Holiday Park, that's why. The, the old system has collapsed over the years and our guys are replacing things that, that go to it and, and, and the system itself. Also, the uh, department employees supported the Riparian Buffer Project as part of a grant through the Penn State Extension to plant trees, shrubs, and flowers along parts of Plum Creek. The department will continue to maintain these areas through Japanese knotwood eradication, mowing, and mulching in the future. And the new Texas rent and retention pond seeding was completed with a special mixture of 60 different plants that were called for by the engineer for the project. Also, Sierra Drive, Miller's Lane, Rockland Drive, Oak Walk Road, and Abers Creek Road had sections of the road milled and asphalted due to poor surface conditions. And that's all I have for this month. Thank you, Mr. Vento. Uh, Public Safety Committee, Mr. Dern. Thank you, Mr. Doyle. I have an update for the stormwater uh, things going on in the borough. The Oak Lock Pond, minor comments were pending from the Pennsylvania DEP, and they're expected in the next two weeks. Upon approval of that joint permit, the project will be ready to be placed out to bid and constructed. Center Beach, permit drawings revised based on the public feedback, draft easements sent to the borough to review with affected property owners, and once the flowage easements are obtained, submission of the dam permit, joint permit, and NPDES permit will occur, will occur concurrently. Anderson Ponds, there's no movement on this project. Miller's Lane, KU Resources has performed conceptual hydraulic and hydrologic calculations for several options at the existing culvert for borough discussion. That's all I have with that. Mr. Maloney, if you'd come forward, please, and give the uh, EMS monthly report. All right. Thank you, Councilman Duren. Uh, Brian Maloney, Director of Operations, Plumber Emergency Medical Services. As always, I greatly appreciate the opportunity to be here this evening. Uh, for April, uh, we had a nice steady month. We did a total of 236 responses, uh, transported 145 of those patients. Uh, we ended up responding, responding to neighboring communities uh, 10 times, with uh, nine of those resulting in transport to the hospital. Uh, we needed neighboring communities to come into Plum uh, 10 times as well. Uh, and of all the EMS that was needed for Plum Borough, uh, we turned over 4.2% of those to our mutual aid or our neighboring EMS agencies to help us out. So once again, everyone got taken care of, uh, but the crews do their best to make sure we take care of our community. Uh, and so it's interesting in the, the compliments you gave to the DPW mayor, uh, at least the Plum EMS we love. Uh, during the uh, winter months, if the roads are tough and, and the ambulances are having a, getting a tough time getting to a certain location, we make a phone call and they're there within minutes. Uh, they do so much to help us out as well, uh, and they're such a vital asset to the community, and we can never say how much we appreciate them. So that's uh, very nice what all of you are doing for them. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, but for April uh, and even into May, uh, we're actually busy not only just running emergency calls, but we ended up doing uh, nine car seat safety checks, gave, a, gave away one free car seat uh, free to a family in need, gave away two uh, free cribs to families in need. Uh, we got to participate in the Plum Chamber of Commerce Touch Truck, uh, which that was a huge event. And the, the thing that was the most popular about that was the uh, band-aids that we gave away to all the kids with all the cartoons on it. Uh, you know, so that, that was always a big one. Uh, we also had a good visit to Plum Creek Acres with our K-9 team. Uh, we have a golden retriever in training, uh, and so uh, we kind of went and uh, did a nice little visit with that. So that one's over extremely well. And one of the things we also do is we try to help out our neighboring uh, communities, especially for bigger events. And the city of Pittsburgh had a lot going on this past weekend. We helped out with four separate events between baseball games, uh, the, the city of the Pittsburgh Marathon, uh, and a couple other things. And so we try to do that because we know, like in the U.S. Open, we also need help. Uh, and so uh, we did the best we could. Uh, and I do also want to appreciate everybody. Uh, two months ago when I was here, I talked about a patient satisfaction surveys. Uh, after I talked about that, we got flooded with surveys, and it was amazing. 
Uh, we had a wall in our computer room just covered in uh, satisfaction surveys. Uh, and the crews really do appreciate that. And one of the things that they love most is the last thing where it's just comments. It's where people can write down exactly what they think or say, and it's one of the most amazing things. Uh, and almost all of them are good, positive comments. So I, I encourage people to continue doing that, and I thank you for uh, helping keep that happening. Uh, and then also, uh, I see uh, Mr. Markovic here. Uh, a couple years, I think it was about a year or two ago, he had an opportunity, he actually spent a, a day with the Columbia and Matt Schnittle right along, went on a couple calls. Uh, and I want all of you to know, that invitation is for you as well. If you want to do some time with Columbia and Matt, we'll take you on some good calls, uh, throw, on a, throw you on a response vehicle, get, have you an opportunity to see what EMS is and plumb, because uh, it's a good experience. Uh, I remember uh, David Jernick one time uh, did it, and it was like the clouds were perfect, the moons were lined up or something, and he went on, uh, kind of like uh, uh, a uh, myocardial infarction, a stroke, a uh, guy that got his foot crushed by a forklift. I mean, it was a, the craziest thing, but we would want to get that opportunity for you to come out and see who we are and see some of the stuff that the crews go through. Uh, and also, uh, May 21st through 27th, not only the appreciation for DPW, but that's also EMS week from across the country. So if you see any EMS crews or crew member, you know, you know thank those people. Uh, you know, it's one of those things that uh, a lot of times it's that lack of appreciation and, and acknowledgement. You know, little things like that go such a long way. So I do appreciate it. So any questions, comments, finger gestures, or maybe a story to make me smile? I appreciate the invite. I get to live it several days a week, every yeah. week. So <laughs> yeah, I know what you guys do. No, I appreciate that. Thanks. So, thank thank you, Brian. Thank Thanks. You. That's all I have, Mr. Doyle. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Darren. <clears throat> uh, Planning and Economic Development Committee, Mr. Delaney. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, for the Planning and Economic Development Committee, uh, the Community Development Department issued 64 permits in April. The Zoning Hearing Board met in April to discuss two submissions and both approved both requests. Uh, the Community Development Department was busy this month. They met with a consultant for Patriot Estates to review the Phase 1 submission, attended a virtual training on purchasing processes, met to discuss 2023 and 2024 demolitions, attended an ACCD Streamlined Watershed Group meeting and held a pre-construction meeting for the Hermes Pipeline and Rolling Hills Interconnect project. Code enforcement completed 74 residential and apartment occupancy inspections. Additionally, sign removal was conducted, street light inspection was conducted, and the code enforcement officer attended a court hearing regarding a property maintenance violation. Code enforcement addressed 19 complaints for junk and debris, abandoned vehicles, vacant structures, chicken and goats, rodents and an occupancy violation. And that's all I have, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Uh, Parks and Recreation Committee, Mr. Taylor. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, the upper soccer fields at Larry Mills Park and the PMFA were seeded, fertilized, and aerated in preparation for the spring sports seasons. Seasonal cutting, trimming, striping of the PMFA, PBSA, and Larry Mills Park playing fields has begun. Plum's annual cleanup day was held on Saturday, April 22nd. There were over 200 volunteers who helped collect over 200 bags of garbage and 100 tires, along with other items. The trash collected was picked up by our public works employees on the following Monday. Routine maintenance items were completed at the L. Francie Building, Community Center, Library, Municipal Center, and Public Works Building. Borough Hap's upcoming events include the first movie in the park of the season on June 3rd at Larry Mills Park, Summerfest on June 22nd through the 24th at Larry Mills Park. And the summer issue of the In Magazine will be in the mailboxes in mid-May. That's all I got. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. Uh, that ends the committee reports for the evening. Uh, now we're on to citizens comment on non-agenda items. And uh, two gentlemen did sign up. I'm uh, just going to take you up on the order which you signed the papers. So, uh, uh, Mr. McGuire. <clears throat> Thank you. I appreciate uh, your courtesy in allowing me to come down and speak to you tonight. Um, I reside at 373 Palmay Park Drive. And uh, just a little background information I'm on the executive board of the Pennsylvania Sports Hall of Fame, uh, the West Penn Senior Softball League, and the Tri Borough Sunday Softball League. We uh, hold permits at the Renton Field. Uh, on Mondays and Thursdays, and on Sundays we have three permit slots. Uh, 
the rent the field is in, um, we need to expand the um, infield so it's compliant with USA softball and NSA softball, the radius to 115 feet. And um, so we would either like to be able to do the work ourselves or have some assistance from the borough. And uh, so whatever direction you could provide us, we would be uh, happy to do that. But the last thing, there, there's a consistent water problem in Brenton. Uh, and uh, years ago, I believe there was a French drain put in, but it's not properly working. And uh, that is something that we'd like to have addressed, perhaps in the fall. Is that located on the third base side? Yes. Okay. I've heard about the water problem. Didn't know that there was an ongoing problem, though. I thought it was fixed. When do you need the, uh, the infield uh, wide? As soon as we can yeah, get the permission to go down there and do it. Do you have uh, estimates on the cost? Or? Uh, Sorry. Nobody should be, for liability reasons, nobody should be doing any, any work on borough property other than somebody you've contracted with or just yeah. instructed to. I tell you what, uh, Mr. McGuire, uh, why don't you give uh, Mr. Thomas a call and he'll walk you through this. Okay, no problem. Perfect. Just trying to yep, see yep. a little direction on how to proceed. Thank you. Thanks sir. a lot. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Sandstrom. No, I'll, I'll, he covered everything. I don't need. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no tag team today, huh? Uh, and I see a gentleman back there. Did you have anything you wanted to add? No, nothing. Okay, great. Thank you. Well, that brings us to the end of our agenda. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Motion of Mr. Dyer. Second. Second of Mr. Hadley. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you all. How much given Tim is a horse? We don't think uh, we're back. <laughs> get that cold call.